STL Tech as it logged in a solid set of Q2 performance. Now, the company matched the expectations on revenues and beat the street on the margins front. Moreover, HCL Tech uh, to maintain its FY17 guidance at this at uh, a time, remember, when its peers have trimmed their growth forecast for the financial year. So let's uh, quickly take uh, you through the top takeaways from HCL Tech's second quarter performance. First up, HCL Tech's dollar revenue soared by over 1.8% compared to the last quarter. This while its constant currency growth stood at 2.8% in the quarter. Its margins managed to rebeat the street expectations coming in at over 20% and la than last quarter. Not just that, the company also managed to hold on to the FY17 guidance, maintaining a 12 to 14% revenue growth in constant currency terms and 19.5 to 20.5 on the margins front. Meanwhile, outside of the results, there has been a change in the company's top tech as well. Chief Executive Officer Anand Gupta has put in his papers and the company has elevated the current uh, Chief Operating Officer of the company, uh, Vijay Kumar, to the President and CEO post with immediate effect. We caught up with Vijay Kumar, the man of the moment, and he told us that UK's decision to pull out of the European Union or Brexit had not really impacted its attack. Uh, so far. It's a very large client for us and uh, our relationship is very strong. We are helping them in a number of areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so far we have not seen uh, any specific impact. If at all there is, uh, there is an uh, impact, there's lots of conversations about cost out. Uh, in yep. some of the companies which are preparing for a big Brexit. But it's early days. I, I really cannot say there's a specific impact. A lot of this growth has been contributed by our beyond digital and transformation technologies revenues. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, that's a big positive. Our engineering services has the uh, four million of IP revenue. Our 12 to 14 percent revenue guidance includes, of course, uh, approximately 160 million of Volvo okay. and 30 to 40 million of our IP revenues. Mm -hmm. uh, we called out even last quarter that geometric is not yeah. included, and we today announced our acquisition of Butler Aerospace. Uh, which is a, a niche provider in aerospace, aerospace and defense, uh, that's obviously not included.